Hey there, I'm Doug from Confology. A lot of you have asked that I update my video that I did about two years ago, almost maybe a year and a half ago on the tech stack that I'm currently using for Confology. So I thought, well, we're about a quarter of the way through 2022. So now would be a great time to let you know the tech stack that I'm using for the rest of this year. This won't be like a detailed how-to tutorial video where I'm showing you like how every little piece is connected. Instead, I'm just going to illustrate for you quite literally on like a whiteboard exactly how I have everything just connected. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at the setup that I'm currently using. So I know that I've mentioned this many times before, but I use a main website, convology.com, for all of my marketing, my lead gen, my sales pages, and things like that. This is where I want people to go and discover me. This is where my videos lead. It's where my SEO leads, convology.com. Well, all of my membership and my courses are under a subdomain site, and I have a whole write-up on this. I think I've done a video on the channel as well about why I choose to use a subdomain. But suffice it to say, Thrive Apprentice, Fluent CRM, all my email marketing, that's all on my subdomain. And that just makes a lot of sense for me. So that's my setup. So with that setup comes a couple technical hurdles that we need to overcome. So that might set the foundation for exactly why I'm using the tech that I'm using. Now, one thing I forgot to mention as we progress here, I'm going to keep a running tally of all of the tech that I'm using on the left-hand side. And of course, I'll include links in the description for you to check out if you're interested in picking up any of these tools. So with both sites using Thrive Suite, that's Thrive Architect for all of my landing pages, Thrive Theme Builder for my theme and so on, I'm using Thrive Suite pretty much everywhere. All of my courses are on my subdomain and all of my courses are built inside of Thrive Apprentice, which is part of Thrive Suite. So with that as my main ecosystem, as my main driver and my platform, I have to build a tech stack that integrates with it. So the first piece of tech that I need is a sales tool, a shopping cart, a funnel tool. I use Thrivecart. Now from my primary website, when somebody goes to a sales page and they go to purchase a product, my primary site leads over to Thrivecart. And once they've completed the purchase, Thrivecart then registers the user over on my subdomain or my courses and membership site. So in a way, Thrivecart kind of bridges the two of these sites together. Now, Thrivecart's also doing something else when a sale is completed. Thrivecart is also notifying my email marketing automation tool, which is Fluent CRM. Fluent CRM built a tool called Fluent Connect, which basically APIs into Thrivecart and it's able to say when a sale happens, do something in Fluent CRM, so I have a lot of tagging going on. So when a user purchases in Thrivecart, they get tagged in Fluent CRM. Now, part of my offering in my membership is access to a members only community. And for that, I use a tool called Circle. So we'll go ahead and add that up here. And Circle is notified that somebody needs to get access when they purchase my membership. Now, it's a little bit tricky to do this. Well, not tricky, it's just a little bit more complex. In order to do this, Circle has integrated with Zapier. So I'm going to put Zapier up here. And basically what's happening is Thrivecart says, hey Zapier, someone purchased the product that needs to be purchased. And Zapier says, okay, we're going to give them access to the members only area in Circle. You don't have to use Zapier with Circle. However, I use something called single sign-on between my membership site and Circle, meaning when somebody logs into my membership site, they are automatically logged into my Circle community. That way, I don't have to actually have them register an account on Circle. They have an account on my membership site, and that's just what they use to log into Access Circle. Now, here's why I'm using Zapier, because there are people that get accounts on my membership site that aren't pro members. So when those people try to get access to the community, it tells them you're not a member of Convology Pro, but you still have an account on the site, therefore you still have an account in the community because they're one in the same. So by using Zapier, I'm able to say the users who have an account who are members of Convology Pro can access the Circle community. So it's a little bit of a technical setup. It suits my particular needs, but that's why I'm using the two. And the need for Zapier would be eliminated if Circle would accept webhooks from external tools, but well, right now they really only integrate with Zapier but that's totally fine. Now I wanna make a special note here directly below my subdomain that I do use Thrive Automator quite a bit and I've created a lot of videos lately all about Thrive Automator and the way it connects everything together. It's kind of like Zapier for your website and all things Thrive Suite. Now one of the main reasons I'm putting Automator out here even though it's part of Thrive Suite and I'm calling it out is because it integrates externally with so many other tools so well. For example, it integrates with the next piece of our tech stack. 
And that tool is called ConvertBox. ConvertBox is my lead segmentation tool that I use. Think of it like an alternative to Thrive Leads. It just does a lot more robust segmenting. But Thrive Leads with Thrive Automator is catching up. So that might be something that I do revisit in the future. But for now, ConvertBox is the tool that I use. And what I love about it is that my main site connects down to ConvertBox. And ConvertBox talks to my membership site via Thrive Automator and webhooks. And Automator from there can talk to Fluent CRM. Now, that's not to say that ConvertBox itself couldn't also talk to Fluent CRM, but for the most part, it's just not needed because Automator has become kind of the central brain and kind of like the central hub of all of the tech stack on my membership site. Practically, you know, the more I think about it, practically everything flows through Thrive Automator that's external and mixed in with Thrive Apprentice. Now, just to kind of wrap up my thoughts on ConvertBox, not only does it do email lead gen, uh, things like lead magnets and email signups, it also does quizzes. I have a whole course called Convert Quiz Funnels. I teach you how to use ConvertBox to build highly efficient lead gen machines using ConvertBox. And then it just integrates with just about everything out there. And it's got a lot of other really neat integration tools. So I'm definitely a big fan of that. Now there's just a couple other tools that I want to bring up that have become a pretty integral part of my tech stack. The first one is Presto Player. Presto Player provides all of the video players for my membership site. Now I've done a lot of videos on Presto Player, uh, particularly a year or two ago when it first came out and I identified how it was really, really great for Thrive Apprentice and that's true, but recently it's become even better because now all of the Presto Player video players actually work inside of Thrive Apprentice video templates. So if you have a video course, video lesson, Presto Player can be the video player there and work perfectly fine. You just choose custom video, drop in your short code, and it works fantastic. So this is a terrific tool for Thrive Apprentice videos. It also works really, really well for sales pages. I know a lot of you are into the video sales letter type of uh, sales strategy. It works really, really well because of muted autoplay. And I've also shown you how you can use Presto Player to do really cool webinar funnels. And I have a whole video on that here on the channel. The next tool I use is called BunnyNet. It has other names, Bunny Storage, Bunny Edge, Bunny Stream. I use Bunny to host a lot of my videos now also for my membership site. It's just a terrific tool. It's so cost effective. You can stream video from there and it's going to not even cost you pennies a month. Uh, it's just a terrific way to store files for your Thrive courses. Uh, and just in general, if you need storage and video streaming, BunnyNet is absolutely something you should check out. And I have tons of videos about that here on the channel as well. Now, an alternative that I do still admittedly use is Vimeo. I tried to get rid of it, but as I've told members of Cavalgy Pro during a lot of our office hours, I actually do like Vimeo's workflow for me. It makes sense for a lot of my quick and just got to get the video up, a private video or something like that. I do use Vimeo and I do embed a lot of those into my courses. So Vimeo is still part of my tech stack. I pay like $70 a year, $80 a year for it. Um, to me, it just makes sense to leave it on there. So that's really it. That's the tech stack that I've used for, gosh, probably about a year now, actually. Well, maybe a little less than that, but close to a year now, it's the same tech stack that powers my entire membership. It's the tech stack that powers all of my course sales. We're coming up on about a thousand courses sold now using this tech stack. So I've kind of worked out pretty much all of the bugs in it and everything that I think I'm going to run into that's a problem. And I think it's just really, really solid. I hope that was helpful to those of you that are just looking for what is just a really good setup to use that's been tried and true and actually just works. That's a big part of my tech stack philosophy. I want things to just work. So if you have any questions about the tech stack that I use, please feel free to leave a comment. I have links to everything down below in the description, and I'll put some additional videos as well in the description for you to check out that have to do with maybe a little more in-depth tutorial into some of these components that I'm using. But that's it for this video and this little sneak peek into the tech stack that I'm using. I'm Doug from Convology, and I'll see you in the next video.